blotter, microdots, acid, gel tabs, drops, doses, clinical 25, tabs, LST. Acid is such a scary, scary drug. It was the craziest feeling I've ever had in my life and most uncontrollable feeling I've ever had in my life. LSD is one of the most potent and mood-altering and emotionally-altering chemicals that you can put in your body. It's made in a lab, you know, it's some kind of uh, mixture of chemicals. It is odorless, colorless, and has a slightly bitter taste to it. It's, it's packaged in different ways, like you can buy, you know, just a single piece of paper, one hit. You can buy a sheet, um, you can buy a book, which is multiple, multiple sheets of LSD. Um, I've seen it come in, you know, gel tabs and liquid. Just the tiniest little bit of it um, can last for, you know, 15 hours, 20 hours, sometimes days on end, depending on how much you take of it. It's so dangerous and so, so potent and just sends you off into a, just a completely different reality. There's a few ways. I mean, it's basically a liquid, so you can drop it on anything. It's normally taken orally on the tongue. You can use an eye dropper, put it in your eyes. You can put it on paper. You can put it in sugar cubes. I always took it in, in tabs and like strips, rip off a little piece of paper and it'll have some kind of pattern on it and usually like a brand. Little pieces of paper that then you would put on your tongue and it just sort of like dissolves and it ingests into your body that way probably around the age of 12, is um, the first time I took acid. I was 13 when I first did it. About 14 years old. 15, I'd say. Took it first when I was 16. I was 18. Took it at a uh, rock concert in the middle of uh, about 25,000 people. A girl I had gone to school with, um, she said, hey, look, I have this, this LSD. Let's skip school and go to a laser light show. One of my friends was like, look, I got this, we have this, um, you have some acid, guys that I know take it and it makes you laugh and it's just an, another thing to do. So that was it. And they gave us a little piece of paper and told us to put it on our tongue and to suck on it for a minute and then chew it up and swallow it and that's what we did. And then about 45 minutes later, I thought I lost my mind. I mean, it really takes you out of everything that you know that's real and puts you in this very surrealistic world. I mean, your whole world is distorted to where you don't even, you can't even tell that you're human anymore, really. I mean, you hallucinate and you think you hear things, you think you see things. And you would see stuff moving, and especially when you're trying to drive or something, stuff going by real fast, see tracers and, and stuff like that. You know, trees waving, walls moving, stars just, you know, you know, literally falling out of the sky, people following you, people talking to you. I remember I was in the mirror and I looked at my face and my whole face was like green with like spots on it, like almost transparent. I kept popping in and out of reality. I didn't know where I was, what I was doing and how to operate. You kill yourself, you might something might happen while you're taking it, you might not come back. You might be stuck on that trip. You get paranoia coming down off it. I mean, you think, you think really horrific things. You know, your friends hate you, people are talking behind your back. You're not eating, you're not really drinking, and you're just sort of out running around with this chemical in your body for hours. It's like your muscles real tight and your back hurt and your bones hurt. Like somebody snuck in your room and beat you with a ball bat or something. I had a hard time concentrating on anything. It didn't matter what it was. It was just completely beyond my control. I was just like, like a dead puppet. I got to the point where it was just a part of the social activity where I was taking it and just dreading uh, the next eight hours. Uh, dreading, okay, I have a lot of work in front of me, you know, to survive again another eight hour period of where I lose all my senses. I had a glass, like, castle in my room and I had started a trip so hard that I sat down to look at that glass castle, and in my mind, I was in that thing. I ended up in that castle, and I couldn't find my way out of it. We got acid from this guy who was visiting our college, and it was blotter, and basically what I wound up getting was not only LSD, but speed, because there was speed mixed into it, and there was a whole group of us that took that acid that got very sick. I just remember sitting there next to the toilet in a stall on the bathroom floor, just in tears, wondering when it was gonna stop. 
praying to make it just stop. I was in that much pain. I was at a concert and I had bought a sugar cube with liquid acid on it from a guy in, in the bathroom there. And I had taken it, gone into the concert, had, you know, I was having a good time. And then all of a sudden, it just, it really kicked in. I got maybe 10, 15 feet and I just sat down in the middle of the concourse area because I couldn't move. I mean, I was, I was scared. And I sat down and I didn't move for probably an hour and a half, two hours because I, the whole world was just a blur around me. I was at a party one time, I think I was about 15 years old, and this guy had taken two hits of acid and he never came back. Like, they literally had to put him into a psych ward because he never came back. Me and my friend, uh, we had took some LSD one night and I don't know, we took five or six hits a piece and we, we was both way out there and I had a sheet where I was selling his ass, which is 500 hits and he got wild and bit into the corner and bit the whole corner out. It must have been 30 or 40 hits. Well, he went crazy and they put him in a hospital and uh, like I went to see him and stuff and nobody could talk to him. Every time you ask him a question, he'd sing a song out of a rock and roll verse. This has been 20 years ago and still to this day, he, he's not right, he's not the same person. I mean, I haven't taken acid in seven years and uh, I still feel these effects uh, from time to time where, where I'm totally, totally spaced out or in a fog or ill at ease, unable to concentrate or, you know, things seem superficial. You haven't done a drug in years, and next thing you know, you're like driving down the street and you feel like nothing's real. You feel like you're actually on acid again, and all of a sudden, you're seeing stuff, the same stuff you used to see, the same unrealistic things that you know aren't there, the same hallucinations. And once at work, too, I was helping out with like this shoot, like this photographer guy, and um, we were like, have this whole band, this like very famous band, and we're shooting them. And then he said something like, um, can you hit the light? I mean, I don't even know what happened. I, I just remember I hit the light, and the next thing I know, I'm like, like laying on the floor, and everybody's looking at me. It's taken me years after it just to undo the damage. So LSD just takes you backwards. It closes doors for you. It just affects your life. If you think that LSD is going to expand your mind and give you new insight on things and, and give you a different outlook on life. It doesn't quite do that. It literally, it literally cooks your brain. Uh, it alters your senses, but in a very harmful way. It's complete trickery. If someone asked me, should I take the drug? I would tell them it's your decision because everything that you do is gonna be your decision. But I would definitely not recommend doing it. Talk to some people that have been in your shoes before. Um, it's, it's nowhere but down. It creates the worst effect on you as a person than any of the other drugs. I've never had, uh, it's bad. I, I can't really, it's hard to put into words what it does to you, but it's horrible. I mean, it's horrible. Every time that you take that drug, it's like playing Russian roulette with your life because you never know if you're gonna make it out okay. 